Alrighty, so this is the third take now of trying to do this fucking video. Um, so what this is, is a tier list. And if you don't know what a tier list is, happy of 70th birthday, granddad. But also, a tier list is a small, uh, it's a small trend that was on YouTube for a while. I'm going to change it to F because that's what everybody does. Uh, it was a small trend on YouTube for a while that um, everybody loved to rank their favorite brands of, um, you know, fruit snacks and and all that kind of stuff. I could have done the Aerosmith album like this, or the Aerosmith albums like this, but I didn't because I'm not a pussy and I wanted to actually have my, my thoughts out there and, you know. So, yeah. Also, today it's going to be a more fast-paced video because as this is the third time now that I've had to record this video and I've had to go through three different separate recording processes, I'm tired of doing this. I've done this video three times now and each time they've been different and I, I, it's hard to be funny and interesting while doing this. So, this time with feeling. So. Starting off, we have what looks to be, uh, these are the 3D glasses that were given out during the 1982 3D music video um, show that they did at, stereo, uh, at Studio 54. These were the music videos, Bolivian Ragamuffin, Bitches Brew, and Sweet Emotion. We have, we are actually currently looking for these videos. They're currently lost. Um, we do have a 30 second clip of sweet emotion that is in terrible quality because it's you know it's you know bit crushed as hell it was on the airship website a long time ago um however um you know still pretty cool but i will say these dopey like it, it's got this giant dopey like aerosmith logo on them and like they look like normal 3d glasses that somebody just like stapled the Aerosmith logo from Rock and a Hard Place on, and I didn't color it. And it looks like these aren't like the the regular red and blue 3D glasses that were really popular back in like the the 80s and you know all that time. And where are you going to take these? You know where else are you going to watch this? You're not going to be able to watch Attack on the 50 Foot Women with this. So and not only that, you're going to look like a fucking dork. But still cool, still Aerosmith. I'm not going to give it a hard you know a hard F or C. I'm going to put it in B. Pretty cool, not cool enough. Now we have an unholy abomination um, that I don't know why I have to keep talking about this. Maybe it's because, maybe it's the reason why these videos haven't been working, but, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. This is a bobblehead Steven Tyler thing. Um, this thing is horrifying. I don't like looking at it. I've had to look at it like three times now. I hate this fucking thing. I don't know why somebody would make this. I don't even know if it's official or not. It's on the Aerosmith 50, 50 years... Um, website underneath their merchandise so apparently it was merchandise at one point apparently i don't know it could be bootleg it could be from fucking satan himself i don't know but f um easy 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 f if you think this is cool i mean that's cool but i don't believe you i don't believe you Next, we have a Nine Lives Prayer Candle. These are really, really big. Um, I want to say back in like the early 2000s, but this one definitely came out. These ones definitely came out. Um, I want to say that they came out during the watch party for um, Nine Lives, along with the next item, which is that little green thing we'll, we'll show here in a second. Um, the I love this. I, I think it's really cool. It has the original artwork, which is kind of not cool because, you know, I always loved the, the actual original artwork until I found out that it was, like, not cool. And I was like, ugh, never mind then. Um, but most of the, my problem with these candles is, you know, most of the time you see them, they got memes on them. They got celebrities. I've seen Elvis ones and Beatles ones and memes and, and stuff. You know, I've seen Shrek ones, haha. But they're not scented. And if they are scented, they're not scented very well, especially the meme ones, because the meme ones will usually, like, if it's Shrek, it'll smell like a swamp. So it's like, I'm not lighting a candle that smells like, like, a, no, I'm not lighting a candle that smells like Shrek. Fuck that. But most of these candles went unscented. However, it's still a pretty neat thing, and it is a good mood lighter. So I'm going to put it in A. Um, 
Now, as an addendum to the candle, we have a bit of candy. Unfortunately, with the information where I found the candy, uh, it didn't say what flavor it was or even what kind of candy it is. I've guessed in the two other videos I've done of this fucking shit that it is bubblegum. But it's not bubblegum, it is a melon or apple flavored bubblegum because it is green. And most of the time, green apple and watermelon are usually that green color. But also, it could be um, like a Japanese melon kind of thing. Like um, the Midori Liquors has that green color as well. But unfortunately, unless somebody has firsthand, um, has firsthand information about this, I don't know what it is. It's cool, but unfortunately... I don't know what it is. Um, but unfortunately, also, it fits under the uh, the one-use category that I that I have going on with, it, with this. Where you use it once, and then that's it. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't get more of this candy. It was a one-time thing at an event 20, 30-some years ago. You're not going to get more of this candy. So if it was good, it was great. Like, it was awesome, but you're not going to be able to get any more of it. Unless you know who made the candy, which I doubt that they would have given out that information, but not because of any kind of, like, you know, oh, you can't know what my candy is, but more on, like, the, like, it's not important, why do you care kind of thing. I'm sure maybe on the back it says what kind of candy it is, but unfortunately with the one picture that I have, that's all we're going to be able to get to see is just that. It's cool, though, so I'm going to put it in, uh, I'm going to put it in B. It's pretty cool. But, you know, one use, that's it. Now we have a $1 and a $5 Tom Hamilton, Brad Whitford, um, fake money. This was given out by the fan club in sometime in the 90s or 2000s. And this is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, but I don't really have much use for it. I think if it, if the colors are right, you might be able to slip these into your monopoly money and like you know fuck up the economy a little bit but i i don't think they match i think the five dollar bill was brown i know the five hundred dollar bill i know actually now that i think about it i think i think the ones were white the fives were green and i'm I'm guessing, but I'm, you know, I'll look it up and, you know, I'll, I'll put a thing up on screen whether I'm wrong or right. Am I wrong? Cool. Anyways, still pretty cool, you know, kind of a niche thing. I think they might have had some kind of use in the fan club. I think if you, like, sent it in, it was kind of like a $5 off coupon, which, you know, I'm just going to give that up. Like, this is cool. It's got the, it's got the band members' names on, or band members' logos on it. Um, you know, and I'm sure that they had... You know, the $10, $20, and $50 denominations with the rest of the band members on them. You know, I could definitely see Steven having the $100 bill and Joe Perry having the 50 and Joey Kramer having the 20 or, you know, the penny because that poor man. Um, but, you know, still cool. Still cool novelty. I'll throw it in A. Kind of neat. Now we have a um, one that also fits into the uh category of um category of single use only and that is this joe perry cigar it's really cool i don't know what flavor what kind of tobacco how mild it is i don't know much about cigars in general if that's any indication at all um but this is you know it's it's cool but it's yeah you know it's kind of neat but it's single use only. And not only is it single use only, after you're done with it, the wrapper is just it's just Joe Perry. And which is not bad, but it's like it's not even like a cool, like, you know, you know where you got this from kind of thing. Like with the Nine Lives one, like you can tell that you got that from some event, whereas the Joe Perry one, it's kinda like it looks like somebody's friend made it for you and gave it to you at a bachelor's party. Which isn't bad, because you know, Joe you know, it's cool, but it's just kinda it's C tier. It's, it's C tier, but, you know. Now we have chicken and beef flavored cat food. I'm going to put this in A because this is really, really cool. And the thing that pushes it over into A is not only is it weird and niche enough for me to be like, that's pretty cool. But it also has the track listing for Nine Lives on the can itself. So, 
in a very big stretch of the imagination, you could still have some kind of use for this can after you use the can. However, you're still buying fucking cat food from a band, and, you know, your cat's gonna look at that and be like, I'm not eating this shit, where's my friskies? So, the next one we have here is a Get a Grip condom. I thought this was a novelty condom at first. I thought it was one of those giant, I thought it was like a giant vinyl sized condom where if like you were that lucky person scrolling or flipping through a, a vinyl bin at a record store a long time ago and you, you know, you happen to stumble across this like, oh my God, it's a giant, it's Get a Grip, but it's a, it's a giant condom and it's a vinyl, ha ha ha, funny. No, it's a condom, it's a regular condom. Which is cool, you know, still cool, but it gets, it is our first S tier, because, and say with me, safe sex should be practiced often and always. And, yeah, there we go. So, the next one we have here is a Aerosmith cookie cutter. This is really cool, and as Christmas is my favorite holiday, I would absolutely love to own this thing. My only problem is is that I really wish they would have done a little bit more with the detailing of the inside of the cookie cutter because it looks like even though you'd have the cookie cutter like you'd have it pressed down pretty good and like it would make the it would make the right shape I feel like the lettering and all that stuff would if would kind of bubble over and kind of look stupid so like you know as cool as that is you know and this is given up by the fan club by the way I felt like I should mention that um, as cool as that is, and as cool as it is, as cool as it, you know, it is have it is being a cookie cutter that's you know Aerosmith thing. I'm gonna put it in uh, in A. It's really cool, but you know, like I don't feel like it would work 100% of the time. But that could also just mean that I suck at making cookies. So now we have a really cool one. I actually remember seeing this one on um, eBay for the longest time. Uh, this is a Done with Mirrors mirror, and. The reason why I saw it on eBay for a long time and never bought it is because I believe they wanted a thousand dollars for a fucking mirror. And you can kiss my ass if you think I'm paying a thousand dollars for a fucking mirror of a terrible album. Hold your anger, please. The video is not over yet. <laughs> Kidding. But, uh, anyways. Like, it's a cool mirror. I love the purple. I love the fact that it's, you know, it's mirrored backwards on a mirror. I feel like that's a, a great little, like, oh, that's so silly. Um, however, it's, it's, there's another, this isn't the only mirror on this list, or in this tier list. So, I'm gonna have to push it into A, because it's really cool, but... There's a cooler one, and I want to give it the top spot because this one, if it was the only mirror, it would be, it would be the coolest, but it's not, and I'm not going to spoil it yet. It's coming up soon, though. So now we have another one for the F tier, and this is a Get a Grip Cowbell. And, you know, if it came in shrink wrap with the Aerosmith logo and the, you know, the, the promo press sticker of, oh, come go, go listen to Get a Grip out now, that'd be really cool. But this is the only picture that we have of it, and unless the Aerosmith logo is on the other side or somewhere else on this thing, this is just a fucking cowbell with cow print on it. Like, honestly, when I first saw it on the website, I was like, did you accidentally post some of your agriculture stuff on here? Like, what the hell? Like, it's really cool. Like, it's a really cool cowbell. Like, you know, it fits the theme. Cowbell, cow print, get a grip. Cow water, you know, yeah, it's cool, but still, it's like, you know, how do I, you know, if I walk into a store and I see that on a shelf, and somebody would go, yeah, that's the Get a Grip Aerosmith brand cowbell, I'd go, yeah, okay, dude, whatever you say, like, like, cool, like, I love your art project, but you know, so unless somebody knows that there's another logo on here, and besides that, if you're using this cowbell like a cowbell that the finish is going to be like worn off of this thing i assume because if you're hitting it with a drumstick you're gonna it, you're gonna wear it out unless you're using it as like an actual like you know you're sticking your arm out the window come on in bessie bring a ding a ding a ding a ding you know like other you know but i doubt i doubt actual farmers are going to use the aerosmith get a grip brand cowbell for their cows 
If you do, that's sweet. Um, but I don't believe you. So next we have um, something that might excite and um, might help some of our, our, our older videos. It might strike some nostalgia in our older viewers. That's what I meant to say. This is a door hanger. Unfortunately, this is the only picture we have of it. It's a, it's a pump one. Um, it's really, really cool. But I'm going to have to put it in B tier. Because A, I don't know exactly what this is. That's probably a product of me being too young to know what it is. But unfortunately, I can't find anything on the internet to tell me what exactly this is. I've tried looking up the product name. I've tried looking up like the, the manufacturer's name. I can't find anything. Um, but... Beyond that, that's not why it gets beat here. The reason why it gets beat here is look at the design on this thing. Like, there's way too much going on on this this print. There's like way too much shit going on. And normally that'd be okay, but this it just looks it just looks too busy. It just looks too busy, and I'm just not interested. It would be cool to have, like, I think it's one of those ones that you hang up in the doorway and it acts like a door, or you hang it off the door, I don't know. It's a cool idea, but I just can't, I can't stop it. Um, or I can't stop it being any high, I should say. So now we have a Love in an Elevator pen. This is a really cool pen, this is based off the single cover for Love in an Elevator. And I might have to censor the other picture because, uh, I believe her biddies are out. Um, this is a really cool pen, but it's going to go in B tier because, for one thing, the photo is a little bit too saturated for my for my liking. But not only that, the like the second you set this pen down anywhere, you're not going to see it again. You're not going to see it again. You're not going to see it again ever. Like it's going to fucking disappear, and you're going to be pissed. Like. If you're a server at work and you bring that some bitch in and somebody else finds it, like they're gonna be like, "That is a cool pen. I want that pen. Give me that pen." Um, and when you come up to that person and they're gonna see your Aerosmith tattoo and they'd be like, "What pen? What pen are you talking about? Pens don't. Well, pens aren't real. Pens are a myth. You fucking moron. What's a pen? Pens? What? <laughs> they don't have pens here." And you'll never see that pen again, basically is what I'm saying. So it's really cool, but if you lose it, you will be feeling it for the rest of your life. So now we have another one that is most likely going to go into C because of my negative, um, rep or my negative memories of this kind of stuff. This is a aerosol can of snow. Uh, this is the fake snow that you would use on your windows at Christmas time that were a pain in the fucking ass to put on windows because you'd sit there and you'd try to, like, you'd spray it on the window once and then you'd have to come back, like, ten minutes later after it dries and spray another layer on. And sometimes, you sometimes you just got a bum can and it just didn't work. Or you'd walk away and you'd be like, it looks like shit. So you'd spray more on and then you'd come back and it looks like gobs of fucking paint dripping down your window and you'd be like... What the f what the fuck? <laughs> like, um, sorry about that cut out there, guys. Um, but I will say it's really neat to see another use of the Aerosmith font, uh, in a ways that we haven't used, haven't been seeing before. And the little quotes from the band members are really cool. However, it's still '90s aerosol canned snow, and it. No, for me, no. If you like it, that's cool. That's awesome. But it's not your tier list. So, shush. No, I'm kidding. Um, also, I believe this is aerosol from when aerosol was really bad for the environment. So, it should probably go in F. But because it's Aerosmith brand aerosol, it's going one steer up. I know that sounds terrible. So, now we have one that's really, really cool. Um, if anybody remembers that VIP package you could get a couple years ago where you could get a Joe Perry guitar um, that he used on stage that night at the uh, Vegas residency, this is the same kind of deal, I think. I think. Where this is a scarf um, that has been framed with a picture of Steven Tyler with the scarf on stage, and I want to say this is in the, uh, in 88 or 87, this is definitely during the, uh, permanent vacation tour because of the headband, um, really cool, really, really, really cool, honestly, like, whoever owns this is, is really lucky, this is really, really, really cool work, 
Uh, this is definitely going in S tier. Like, absolutely going in S tier. Super cool. Love to see it. Um, I wish, I, I hope that there, that there's more than one of these, but I don't think there were. So if there, if this was the only one, that's really cool. But if you own it, you know, speak up. Where'd you get it? Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling they probably had a contest in the fan club because back in the 90s they had a really awesome fan club. Um, but yeah. Now we, speaking of headbands and really awesome things, we have an Aerosmith brand headband. Uh, this is probably from Permanent Vacation. I believe the theming around it, the, you know, reds and yellows, uh, are definitely very, um, very Permanent Vacation themed. And honestly, I wish headbands would come make a comeback, cause you know, like S tier, by the way. Uh, headbands were really they, they like the last time I saw a headband on a kid was in the amazing music video where that kid was using virtual reality to like make up his you know fantasy girlfriend and take her on a like a, a ski trip, and for some reason he cut his hair. That always pissed me off in that video where he cut his hair. Like, his dream, his, his, uh, cool self is him with, like, this dumbass bowl haircut that I saw every single other, every single other white dude around me in my high school have the same exact haircut. Like, I was like, you're not, like, the, your cool hair was the one you had when you had long hair. Like, what? But I guess, you know, I, I don't know. It's a dream, or it's, it's a, it's a simulation inside of a simulation you know, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the amazing music video, which, if you're on this channel and haven't seen it, what the f fuck are you doing? <laughs> but speaking of Get a Grip, we have a Get a Grip towel. This is really cool. It's going in B tier, because um, as somebody who works on cars, you know, I mentioned in my last video that I'm an NASCAR fan, um, this is really cool, but this would absolutely get destroyed after your third or fourth use like there's no point in like there's no point in trying to use this and you know it's it's a really cool like you know hand washing towel or decorative towel you know like your mom always used to say you know don't touch the towels in this in the bathroom they're not for they're not for use they're for decoration i know for a fact that if you put that in the in the washing machine once it would it would destroy it it would kill that poor thing so, with that, I'm going to put it in B tier. Uh, also, like, they could have used the space they were given a little better. Like, make the whole towel the, the artwork or the, or the design. And not just, like, the, the middle of it. It just it just looks bad. Um, but now we have another S tier one. And uh, this is a falling in love is hard on the knees knee pad. Very clever. Um, and... You know why it's going in S tier, because say with me, safe sex should be practiced often and always. Um, also, the other S tier one that I forgot to put in here, I will probably flash it up on screen. There was a bra that came with Young Lust in uh, Japan. I forgot to include it here, but it just popped into my head. Um, that bra would definitely go in S tier because you know, it's it's Aerosmith lingerie, man. Like that's 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 like quintessential on brand behavior. Um, so that's definitely that would definitely go on there. Uh, so moving on, we have um, a mask and bag combo that would have been given out, I believe, during the New Year's Eve show in '98 in Boston, and. Um, we also have another. We also have another mask after this one, and the mask is going to go in C because it doesn't work. Uh, it, it looks like uncomfortable, and it just. I just don't. I don't comprehend how this is a mask. Like I, I comprehend. You know, it goes over your face, and you know, it's a mask. But the bag one, the 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 pink one, and the bag. That that mask. That mask is. That's cool, and it gets. Um, higher than the 3d glasses because even though i said that you know the 3d glasses you look like a dork with the with the aerosmith logo above your head this one knows that it's goofy this one understands that it's goofy and it just doesn't care and that's what makes it cool you know that's what makes it cool you go out there you know you're kind of weird you know you're doofy 
That's confidence. That's raw. That's Aerosmith. You know, that's cool. Um, it's also a pink mask that says Aerosmith on it. And, you know, I, I would absolutely walk around like a walking Aerosmith advertisement. Like, you know, come on. But, like, still. I mean, my whole channel is an Aerosmith advertisement. Come on now. Moving on. Um, we have an Aerosmith Steven Tyler Demon of Screaming $50 Dalero, Dalero. I'm not sure of the denomination. I know it's a peso, though. Uh, peso. It's a fifty-dollar peso. I believe this is minted. I don't think you can actually use this, obviously. Uh, but what you can use this for is as a necklace, um, or as a little bracelet charm, if you felt the need to wear a giant metal thing as a bracelet charm. This is really cool. I actually really like this. Um, I honestly wish I could find this. This is really cool. So it's going in A, along with the mask. Now we have one that um, also haunts my dreams. This is a Polar Express Steven Tyler Elf Happy Meal toy from Germany. I don't know what this fucking thing does. I don't know why this fucking thing exists. It's terrifying. I hate that fucking elf so much. It's just... Spooky to me, and I don't like him, and he scares me. <laughs> but. No buts. It's terrible. F tier. Uh, I don't know what he does. I tried finding out whatever his. whatever he was supposed to be doing, but I can't find anybody who, you know, is in Germany that collects. I think this is Burger King. Um, I can only assume that it's a top kind of thing. Where you, I remember these as a kid, they would have these little, um, fidget spinner style ball bearing things in the bottom of them, and you would roll them sideways on, um, you would roll the, the, the pointer tip sideways on a, um, flat surface, and usually they had, like, little rubber grippers on them, and you'd spin that some bitch up real, 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 real fast, and then you'd, you know, you set it down, and since the tip of it wasn't rubber, it was actually plastic, it would spin, and it would stay perfectly up for a long time, and it was really, really cool. And sometimes, you know, the the base part would spin, because the the, the top part that you spun up to get up to speed um, was separate from the base itself. But, you know, I think that's what it's supposed to do. I think also maybe at one point it's supposed to launch him off of it because he's a separate piece. I don't know. It's a terrible Germany toy. Don't ask me more questions about it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Disconnected my headset. Uh, anyways. So, now we have a Tom Hamilton pick. However, there's a, there's a twist. So, anybody who's been at the front row of an Aerosmith concert knows that... You know, the one thing you want to do when you get close to Joe or Brad is you ask them for guitar picks. You say, you know, throw me a guitar pick. And Steven Tyler throws guitar picks. He has some of them with his Demon of Screaming uh, logo on it. Joe Perry has some. He used to have some with his uh, Simpsons character on it. Brad Whitford has some of uh, with Checkered Flag because he's a big NASCAR fan like me. And uh, Joey Kramer obviously would toss out his drumsticks, uh, which are a name that I cannot pronounce. Uh, however, Brad would toss out his own picks, except Brad, or except Tom Hamilton, excuse me. Tom would toss out his own picks, but Tom doesn't use picks. So he'd be tossing out little fingers because since he doesn't use picks, he used, he got his, um, he got his finger molded with a little Aerosmith ring and they would say stuff like, I got fingered at the Aerosmith concert, or I got the finger at the, at, uh, at the Aerosmith concert, or I got the tinger, uh, tinger, I got the finger from Tom Hamilton. And, you know, really cute, really cool. Uh, beats here, though, because as cool as it is, as cool as it is, it's, it's small and you're going to lose it very 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 easily and i feel like whatever they made this out of whether it be foam rubber or rubber or something that is going to deteriorate and if you got pets they're going to chew on it like crazy so it's cool but i don't see it lasting very long and also where are you gonna, where are you gonna put it like why do you have a severed finger on your desk samson uh, i got fingered at an arithmetic concert 
What? <laughs> like, huh? Uh, speaking of rubber, we now move on to a rubber stamp. This is really cool, but this also kind of falls flat because where exactly are you going to use this thing? Um, it's really cool and it makes really good results. And also, but also, the rubber is probably deteriorated away at this point. Um, I believe these were given out in the fam from the fam club, but they make really cool things. Uh, they make, you know, the, the design is really clean and clear. Uh, so I'm going to put it in A tier. Not really cool, but, you know, it probably didn't last. And it probably, if you still have it, I really, really hope that it still works for you because it's really cool. But also, like, who's still using stamps? Unless you're a teacher. And But if you're a teacher and you're putting, nobody's going to know who Aerosmith is. You know, they might go, oh, my dad likes that band. And then you go, oh, cool, Jimmy. You go sit back down. Like, and that's it. <laughs> you know? But either way. Speaking of small children, uh, we have a Swiss Army knife that looks like something that you would give to a Boy Scout in the 90s. Um, really cool. Though I don't really see its practicality because it looks like it's just the knife and the nail file, which is cool. But, you know, like, what? It, what? So, I'm going to throw it in B chair. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in B Or I'm not going to throw it in B chair. Go on a B chair. Anyways. Um, it's cool. Um, but if it had more options, like if it had like the scissors, I'd be like, oh, yeah, A tier. And if it had like the scissors, the nail file, and the knife, I'd be like, oh, yeah, S tier. Easily. But also, it gets bunked down one tier automatically because that logo is going to fade off. I have a Zippo. I have one of the Draw the Line Zippos and the I believe Joey Kramer's little smile has already chipped off. Yeah, Joey Kramer's little smile has already chipped off. Bits of Tom Hamilton's hair is chipped off. Like, um, oh my gosh, look at Stephen Tuttle lost one of his eyes. Um, and, like, I know that's going to happen to this little um, pocket knife. Like, it's going to get destroyed. Unless it's underneath the, um, that clear resin lid thing. So, finally, we get to the other mirror I was talking about. This is a Toys in the Attic wooden framed mirror. This thing is really cool because it actually has a lot of the elements from the album art of the album. So, and the, but the main point of it is, is that this thing, and the reason why it gets S tier over the other mirror ones, is because it has that wooden frame. That is so cool. Like, the fact that they were like, yeah, put it in a wooden frame. Why not? Just like, why not? It's a wooden frame, you know? And also, like, if it falls, it won't shatter, like the Dumb with Mirrors one. Like, I... Is this enough? Yeah, okay, it's trying. Like, I can understand what you could put the Dumb with Mirrors one into a frame, but you're not going to. Because you're, you know, who's going to make a frame for something that specific? Unless it's somebody you're, it's somebody that you know, which is, you know, a possibility. But, like, this one came with a frame. Like, it came with the, with the frame. Like, that's cool. That's awesome. Like, that's really, really cool. So, it gets us here easily. Um, now, finally, we get to the last two. And um, this one I'm going to put into uh i'm gonna put it in eight here this is a uh walk this way aerosmith welcome mat it's really really cool i love this i love when brands do really niche specific weird things um like for instance i bought a apron of bigfoot the monster truck um the the, the very first monster truck bob bob chandler and all that junk they had a grill apron, and since I work in a kitchen, I was allowed, because it was a it was the same style of apron that I have at work, I was just able to go, hey, I can buy this, bring it into work, and I can use this at work. That's really awesome. It's very niche. Like you don't see a lot of like a lot of brands doing weird stuff like that. And if they do weird stuff like that, it's not really that like useful. It's like, oh, here's um here's a Coca-Cola brand. Uh, ice tray. Well, no, ice tray would be useful. I guess, like, something stupid like, oh, here's a, a Coca-Cola brand hairbrush handle. Like, it's not even a hairbrush. It's just a handle for a hairbrush. It's just like, 
Okay, cool. I guess I'll go fuck myself with this. Like, what else am I gonna use this for? <laughs> you know? But this, this, this welcome mat is cool. It's, it's, you know, you could set it out in front of your house. Somebody might steal it, but you know, you can go beat their ass and get it back. But like, it's cool. I like it. It's really, really awesome. And I love that purple color. That purple color is super cool. Um, I believe this was given out by the fan club as well. Also, so finally. After this last, uh, this long, fast-paced, rambling video, we have Aerosmith wrapping paper in two designs, in red and purple. I would assume this probably came out around the time of Pump, because that is uh, Greatest Hits Red and Pump Purple, much like the welcome mat. This is really cool. It's going in B. I'm sorry. Because, because, because of all the wonderful things it does. La 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 la. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, because for, um, you wrap a gift in this and you give it to your friends. This is a scenario. You give it to your friend and you sit there and they love it. And they go, that's awesome. Where did you get Aerosmith themed wrapping paper? And you go, I got it from the fan club. And they go, oh, that's so cool. That's so thoughtful. And then you stare at them and they stare back at you. And they stare at the present and they stare back at you. And you go, are you going to open it? And they go, no. I'm not gonna rip up this this sweet ass like wrapping paper. Are you fucking crazy? I'm not gonna do that. This is awesome. So they so now you've just wasted however much money on the wrapping paper, and now even more money on the present inside the wrapping paper. Because if I know Aerosmith fans like, uh, or if they act anything like I do. I'm not going to rip that. I'm going to take that home and surgically remove that from the wrapping paper and then put the wrapping paper somewhere very safe uh, so I can just look at it. Much like I do with my um, my first edition of... Oh my gosh. My first edition of... Ah! My first pressings of the first album and my limited pressing of Pure Gold Point 999 and what other... <laughs> what other Aerosmith things got flexed? <laughs> okay, that was terrible. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I do know one though. I, one that is kind of neat. It's not a flex because it's not that cool, but it's still. I have a Honkin' on Bobo. It's a sealed copy of Honkin' on Bobo that comes with the um, the little harmonica. It came with the little harmonica. It was a it was a rare op or it was a rare thing you could have gotten at some CD stores. But mine is still wrapped in the shrink wrap, and um, still has a little harmonica with the Airsfit logo on it and the CD and all that junk. Super cool. I wish it, you know I wish I had more, but still cool. But that is a tier list. What do you think? I hope it's good because it's the third time I'm doing this, and I'm not doing this again. I'm not. I refuse. I refuse. I'm putting my hands down on my desk. I refuse to do this again. <sighs> so, uh, credits, please. So I hope you guys enjoyed this rambling, fast-paced, uh, uh, more unscripted, I guess, video. We'll be back with more scripted videos in the future, but this one um, is just kind of a filler episode while I work on other things. I've got a lot of stuff planned. I'm, I'm going to start working on an outtakes mega episode here soon. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a different. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna reveal too much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go album by album and talk about you know what outtakes are from each album. Do we have any clips of it? Are there any chances of us getting any clips of it? If there aren't any clips of it, and basically, you know, at what points in the album's creation, if we can figure it out did these songs get cut because some of the outtakes that I that I have I can actually tell um, you know which are like the pre-production demos and which are like you know during album production and which are kind of like post-production you know not pre-production for the next album but kind of like post-production we're like oh well we figured this out kind of late in the game and we just you know we can't use it for the album because you know the album's already done but you know whatever um, I'm also going to try and find some clearances because I did, I did get a big, um, a big outtake thing, a big outtake discovery uh, recently. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some actual things I found 
some clips of some stuff thanks to a very, 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 very cool person. Um, I'm very excited. I, I finally got to hear a song that I've been wanting to hear, or at least clips of the song. I, I didn't get to hear the full thing, but I finally got to hear clips of the song that I haven't heard in over 15 years. And, oh, it's just as good as I remember it. But enough of me rambling. I'm going to get out of your hair and let you guys go on with the rest of your day. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the radio. And transmission.